Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to edit your port in Nux.js. Why would you want to do that? Well, have you ever had to work on more than one application at the same time? So I'm constantly working on more than one. I have about four or five applications running between working on the Nux.js website, creating these videos, my personal website, and any other thing that I might be doing. So basically what we want to do is not have to constantly have a random port opening up. Let me show you what I mean. So this is my application and I've already got local hosts in use. So when I run yarn dev, I'm going to basically get this message saying that localhost 3000 is already in use and it's going to try a random port. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. Um, it makes it very easy in Visual Studio code because you could just click it and it's going to open it. Now the problem is that I have three screens open so it's opening the window on another window and I kind of don't want it over there. I want it to open in here and this is the one I had earlier and now I'm going to have to paste this in here and now I'll get my application as soon as it's finished spinning around. Um, so, okay, that's fine. I can work with that. And then what happens is, I don't know, something breaks or um, I stop it, right? Now I need to restart it again. And what it's going to do is it's going to say localhost 3000 is already in use and it's going to give me another port. And now I'm going to have to open it again. And as I open it again, it's gone to the other window again. And I'm going over here and I'm like, you know, copying it and I'm pasting it in here. Because um, if I refresh this, right, it's going to be dead because it doesn't exist. And I paste that in here. Now, this is annoying, right? This is this is already doing my head and I'm losing time here. So what I can do I mean, obviously, um, to open it automatically, um, I can actually just, you know, do this, right? Yarn dev dash O. So now it's going to open directly for me. So I don't have to do anything and it's, I don't have to click. Yeah, it's just opening. Look, whoa. Okay, that's better. I like that more. That was great. So while this is opening, I'm going to go to my other screen and I'm going to like just check Twitter because, you know, that's what I do while I'm working. So I'm now checking Twitter, right? So I've earned the other screen. I'm checking Twitter. And then I come back in here and I stop it and I start it again and it's going to open and now it's going to open. Oh no, because I opened Twitter over there on the other screen. Now it's opened on the other screen and now I'm not getting the application on, on this one, right? Um, so I've got to copy this over again. So this is really annoying. This is doing my head in. Also, can you see, I've got like, you know, extra tabs open. So, you know, even if I stay on this screen and I don't use Twitter while I'm working, and I open it up, um, I'm gonna use that same, yep, that's great. But I'm getting all these tabs open, right? So every time I stop it and start it, I have all these tabs open. So how can we fix this? What can we do? So we can use um, what's called the editing, the host and port, right? We're just gonna focus on the port. So my port, um, it's local, uh, local host is the host, and then port is 3000, or it's giving me that random port, right? But I don't want a random port. I want it just to be always open on the same port so I can stop it and start it. And it's going to know just to open that port. So I don't have to keep copying and pasting from different screens and having loads of tabs open. So you can see here in the documentation under features configuration, under edit host and port, and you can actually set it directly in the Nux config, right? So you can use the server property. You can add in port and you can add in 8,000 if you like, right? The default is 3,000. Now that can be good, but sometimes um, you don't want to set it in your Nux config because maybe you're using, I don't know, something else and you want to make sure that the host uh, or the port is the same. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually, I mean, you could actually just, as I'm running npm run dev, I could just type this each time, right? Port equals 8,000, but I might actually forget which number I've chosen. I've done that quite a few times. So the best way or the way I like to do it is actually to get the port like this, right? And copy it in. Now you could use um, a script and call it dev host, but I actually just want to modify the dev script and make it just simple, right? Because I'm just me using this application. So dash dash port 8,000. And I can use any number. So let's have a look at how to do that. So in my application, I'm gonna open uh, my package JSON and I'm gonna take my script, my dev script, and I'm just gonna add in here, port 8,000. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be 4,000 just because, I don't know, because I like it. So I'm gonna save that. And now let's just 
see what happens here, right? I'm going to stop that and I'm going to put it yarn dev. So yarn dev and I've got port 4000. You can see it did localhost 4000, right? I'm going to click that. I'm going to open it. Okay, it's opened it on my other window because I was checking Twitter again. Oops, right? I can go here and I can open a new window and I can type in 4000. I'm going to close all my other windows so that I only have that one open. So now I'm getting my application running on localhost 4000. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's loading, so that's great. And it's going to finish. Perfect. Got my application. Something went wrong or I need to stop for whatever reason. And I'm starting again and it's a new day or whatever. And now it's going to run on localhost 4000. So when I go back here and if I refresh that, you're going to see that it's loading. So I'm getting my application. I don't have to have any more tabs open. I don't have to keep copying and pasting from my other screen when I check my Twitter messages. And it just makes it much faster for development. So yeah, that's a great and simple way of basically just uh, editing your port so that you don't have a random port each time when you're working on multiple um, applications. So yeah, this is in features configuration and just put it in your script or put it in your actual command. Um, or if you really want to change in the Nux config, but definitely I recommend just adding it to your script. So I hope that was really helpful. And that means uh, you'll be able to um, use Twitter at the same time as having random ports open and you're not going to have to like do what I was doing. Uh, thanks very much. Enjoy. Have fun. Bye.